Hello, my name is Will Walter and today is Wildlife Wednesday and in this video I'll be taking you through what I take in my camera bag when I'm either going out just around the fields or when I'm going to uh, somewhere where I need to travel to, for instance Cornwall or up to Cumbria or Scotland. So uh, yeah, this is going to be the video and uh, hope you enjoy. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'll start going through all the things in this area here. So, so I have my two CF card adapters here, and I have my two main uh, photography uh, cards here, which is a micro SD card, 64 gigabytes, and a micro SD card, super fast, 32 gigabyte. And these are just my two trail cam uh, or just backup smaller uh, cards which is a 4 and an 8 gigabyte one which you know uh, it's quite small but they're quite good and then I also have here which is quite handy this is a uh, anchor battery pack I use this for charging my phone or my action cameras which I will come on to later and we have my two Canon batteries here both quite good reliable this one's quite a cheapy one but it does the job well here we have two batteries for uh, my monitor which I will go on to later as well. This is what all my batteries and cards go into. This is just an old Bear Grylls survival thing that I've had since I was about eight and I decided to make use of it for these things here. So everything just goes into there nicely and uh, yeah, that does the job. Okay, so now we are moving on to my actual camera. Uh, this is my Canon 7D. Uh, and this has done me very well, it's done me a good service, but I think by the end of uh, January next year I will hopefully have upgraded to the Canon 6D Mark II. So uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm aiming for, but this camera will see me through until that point and um, I highly recommend this. I was looking at other cameras such as the uh, 1D uh, Mark III, but it doesn't do video and the image quality isn't as good as this one. And uh, yeah. It took me a while to, to, to choose this camera and I had to go through a lot of reviews but now I highly, highly recommend this camera for its price and you know just for its body build and it's just a solid camera and I highly recommend it. Okay and now moving on to this. This is my Tamron 150-600 to G2 lens and this is, well, this is my baby right here. This is the thing I've been saving up for for pretty much ever. Uh, and I managed to purchase it last year, uh, February last year. And uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is incredible. I can't recommend another lens. Like I can re recommend this one. It's just got such a versatile zoom length from 150 to 600. Although the focus at 600 isn't as fast as it is at at 150 it is still a very nice lens and uh, good qu quality and uh, light and I yeah, I love it I couldn't speak more highly of this lens so uh, yeah this is pretty much my lens and uh, yeah here you have my little kit lens this thing is plasticky isn't great slow autofocus but I don't use this much I hardly ever take this with me like when I when I go out uh, but yeah it just isn't my thing to use a small lens but hopefully I'm going to be saving that for this lens here uh, this is the Canon 50mm uh, prime lens 1.4 I think and this is like the mid-range one it isn't the uh, cheapy one which is I think 1.8 and it or it isn't the really expensive one which is the 1. f 1.2 uh, this is just like the mid-range good quality fast autofocus lens and uh, yeah hopefully I'll be purchasing that quite soon but uh, yeah I'll be trading this one in because I don't use this at all. Okay so now I'm going to be moving on to one of my more recent purchases. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro and uh, this thing has you no know, so far 
how much I've used of it, I'm seriously impressed. The audio quality is crispy, uh, you can't hear much uh, internal noise or you can't hear much background noise, it just focuses on the thing that you want to hear. And it's got a uh, changeable uh, decibel level from 0 decibels minus 10 or plus 20 and it has also has levels here so flat or I think the other, I can't remember the other one but it's very good, it lasts for 70 hours on one uh, battery on one of those square batteries and uh, yeah I mean this thing is always going to be in my camera bag from now on and uh, yeah also comes with a road windshield and that will help me when I'm out in the field this also performs well cuts out the wind noise and uh, does its job as expected okay now moving on to this and this I carry two knives with me. This one is always strapped to my camera bag. This is, I think, four and a half inch blade Mora knife. Uh, you've seen this in other videos, and this is pretty much my everyday carry knife. Uh, seriously, seriously durable. This thing is a uh, fixed fixed blade uh, knife. It comes with a plastic sheath, and pretty much this thing is hardy. I've dropped it on an occasion, and. Uh, as you can see, no dents or deviations in the steel. And uh, this is just all round sturdy knife. And now comes to my small pen knife. This I use for other utilities. It has a saw on it, it has bottle openers and it has leather punches just in case something goes wrong. I can use this in pretty much any conditions that needs to be. And it comes with a nice leather pouch which I attach to my belt. Okay. Now moving on to another recent purchase, but this is a Joby Gorilla 3K kit in black and this is by far one of my favourite purchases so far. Uh, this has really stepped up I think my vlogging and there are some new videos that will be coming out soon where I use this to help vlog and uh, yeah, I mean it's sturdy, it's a lot more sturdy than my old one which uh, was a cheapie and they're used, they get there was cracks in the joints here and it would just start popping out and then when I held it up this bit would flop down but it has a proper ball head and uh, yeah it's sturdy it's got a spirit level and that helps me make sure my video is all level yeah this is going to be very useful in the future okay now moving on to my camera strap this is pretty much I found this basically uh, it was on an old bag my old sports bag and I thought it was quite good. I had I hadn't actually I hadn't I hadn't got a camera sh strap at the time, so I just tied this small piece of uh, paracord to the strap uh, to the small metal thing here. This where the strap normally goes, and I just clip this on when I'm carrying the uh, camera about, and does the job. Supports the camera on my neck, and it doesn't make my neck hurt that much, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't need to buy any expensive straps, but uh, yeah. Okay, moving on to my, the next product. This is the Gobe ND1000 ND filter. I've taken some of my favourite long exposure photos with this, and have to say, it's very, very good quality for the price. I mean, proper glass, it's not plastic, uh, metal frame, and it comes in a nice case, uh, which, you yeah. know, it's nice, I do like a good case, and uh, yeah, that slides into my camera bag very neatly and doesn't take up much room. And yeah, I, I like the black theme, so uh, yeah. Okay, so now moving on to some more intricate things over this side, uh, but starting off, I will talk about this. This is the Voltrox camera monitor. This is a 7 inch monitor which uh, pretty much allows me to see what I'm focusing on better and allows me to analyse the colours better so I'll know uh, what I should be focusing on or how I can change that in camera. Okay, so it just opens up with a nice easy pull down this and open up with that and the two sh uh, shades uh, flip, I don't really know what these are called but it shades it very nicely so you don't get any glare on the screen so you can see clearly what you are photographing and 
I highly recommend it. It's literally like looking at a blown up version of the LCD screen and it holds an amazing quality and uh, not very pixelated at all. Uh, and you can really see what you're focusing on with this. And it is 4K, so uh, if you have a 4K camera and you want to use this, it works perfectly. And I highly recommend this as well. And that also fits into my camera bag smoothly because it is thin, it's about an inch and a half. So uh, yeah, that is fantastic and I love this so much. Uh, moving on to the more intricate stuff here. So I have Visible Dark Dust Arctic Butterfly Sensor Cleaner. I take this pretty much with me wherever I go just in case I get some sensor, uh, just in case I get some uh, dust on my sensor and I can quickly give it a once over so to make sure that my sensor is clean and free of dust so my pictures can be as good as they possibly can. And I also have a, uh, a makeup brush or a retractable makeup brush for cleaning my lenses. I got this idea of Morton Hilmer and uh, I have to say that was very good of him to share that with everyone because that's helped me a lot in the past year or so. Uh, now I'm going to be talking about my action cameras and this stuff over here. Okay, so I'll talk about the action cameras first. I got this for Christmas. This is an action camera. Uh, I don't really know which, which, what, what brand, I would say this is very good. But it comes with a 50 foot waterproof case so it can go uh, underwater for 50 feet and uh, so these both shoot in 180p at 60 frames a second or 720p at 25 frames a second which is fantastic and uh, it gives a very good quality and underwater it looks crispy and uh, yeah it just makes any underwater shot look lovely and then I have the case in which they come in I bought this as well with some money I got for my birthday uh, and I want this as well I've, take, I t I've got basically my sticky pads in here and I put my two GoPros here and basically this is just a hardy case which I attach onto the back of my camera and yeah it's waterproof and it does the job incredibly well and I'm so glad I got it and it was a, yeah I, I would say it's a good investment to make to get yourself a good case like this so nothing gets damaged and uh, this is interesting. This is the interesting part. I have a small, I have a small rig set up here, uh, and basically this allows me to attach my video mic as well as my monitor onto my camera, uh, so I can make uh, my documentaries like this. So I can sh 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 everything will be on here, and it look good. And um, basically, yeah, that's why I got it. I just needed some s some way to uh, attach everything on there without. Uh, this disrupting anything if you if you see what I mean but uh yeah and they have just the rest of my attachments my GoPro and stuff over here I have this this is just you've probably you might have seen this in another video I don't know uh, but this is just a 3d cam camouflage hat that goes over my head when I'm photographing deer or uh, foxes or something in the woods and uh, I normally have my camouflage jacket so uh, yeah this just covers up my facial features and uh, makes me harder to spot with the uh, 3D camouflage. So uh, yeah, moving on to the next item. Okay, this next thing is my tripod. Uh, this is a Manfrotto, I don't actually know what uh, series it is, but it's sturdy, uh, it's got, comes with a uh, video, video head on it, so that's perfect for, for making my documentaries. It's uh, pretty heavy, unfortunately, but you know it's quite old. It was given to me by my uh, great uncle because he was a semi-professional photographer. And basically, this has allowed me to take the Richmond Park video because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to hold this and my camera in, uh, without having much shakes. But you know, this really helped me make my videos, and I'm so so glad he had the generosity to lend this to me. But uh, yeah, this has been fantastic and I can't thank him enough for lending this to me. And uh, yeah, this is just some old, really bad camouflage tape uh, that kind of takes the shine away from the metal. Uh, I used to have it on my Tamron, but I just didn't like it. It just didn't look that nice. But on here, I mean, it's bubbling, it's like bubbling up a bit. All the fabric's 
bobbling, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll take it off soon and get some new stuff on there. Some more silly stuff, but until then, that stuff will do the trick. And then moving on to something that pretty much no one has seen on this channel is my camera bag. Uh, well, at least no one has seen the inside of it because it's disgraceful. Uh, it's honestly the messiest camera bag you'll probably find. Uh, and yeah, because I have to try and make all of this fit into here and uh, it's a real struggle, trust me. Uh, yeah, anyway. That's it, I mean there's cut pieces of stuff in here, it's just this. It's like the most disorganised camera bag in the world. But uh, yeah, I mean just this stuff loose just to give it ex extra protection for my lenses. Uh, but yeah, somehow it all fits in here and uh, so this is actually a scope bag so I had to do some surgery so my lens would fit in here. Uh, without it being crushed yeah without it being crushed but so i have it running down here my camera here uh just some other stuff in here. i don't really know how i do it but i managed to do it when i uh, need to and uh everything manages to, manages to squeeze in here and uh yeah it's just a little <laughs> don't even know what it's called i think it's like a There you go. Uh, so this is a low pro scope travel 200 AW uh, bag. So this isn't actually meant for cameras, but I've kind of given it a bit of a modification, modification job. This has been a video that I've wanted to film for a while, uh, and I finally managed to do it. I just couldn't bring myself to put to get all my stuff out here, and then have to tidy it away again. But uh, I, I've hoped you have got an insight to. Uh, what it's like to be in a 15 year old wildlife photographer's bag. Uh, <laughs> no. But anyway, this is pretty much all my stuff. Uh, photography, well, photography wise, I carry my bag. Uh, but yeah, I should probably do some mi minimalistic uh, like photography stuff where I should only take my, this, 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 and just some other stuff with me on a shoot rather than taking the whole shebang if you know what I mean so uh, yeah maybe that's something you'd like to see in the future or if not just say we don't want to see that in the comments or please comment what you'd like to see in the future and uh, yeah it's been an interesting video to make I hope you enjoyed uh, and I'm just gonna have to go pack all the stuff back up now so uh, yeah I'll see you next time till then